Codasys is a controller development system. The flexibility and powerful tools of this software have been a game changer in controller applications. Codasys can be used to program BL20 and BL67 programmable gateways, TX HMIs, and IP67 TBEN PLC blocks. In this tutorial, we are going to use a Codasys ladder logic project to program a TBEN PLC to count five cans and then turn on an indicator light. We will also have the ability to reset the counter by activating another sensor. You will need a TBEN PLC, a 24 volt DC power supply cord set, an ethernet cord set, two capacitive sensors to detect the cans and to reset the counter, an indicator output light, and a laptop or PC. First, let's download and install Turk Software Manager by going to www.turk.com forward slash TSM. With Turk Software Manager opened, click the plus symbol next to Fuel Bus Technology and click the selection box next to DTM for Fuel Bus I.O. Systems. Then, click the plus symbol next to Control and HMI. Here is where we download Codasys and all the necessary package files. In this example, we are going to use Codasys 3.5 Service Pack 8, so we will check the selection box next to it. We will be using the TBEN PLC block, so we will also download the Codasys TSP for the TBEN PLC. First, follow the prompts to download and install Codasys. With Codasys downloaded and installed, open Codasys. Select Tools and open Package Manager. With Package Manager opened, select Install. Then go to where the package file was extracted to and select it. The Choose Setup type box will then pop up. Click Next, then click Next again. Once the setup is complete, click Next, then Finish. The Codasys package for the TBN PLC should now be seen in the Package Manager screen. We now have all the necessary software and are ready to go. Plug the two sensors into port 4 and port 5. Then, with an M12 cord set, plug the light into port 6. Next, connect the TBEN PLC to a 24 volt DC power supply cable. You will notice the LEDs in the block will light up. The next step is to connect the TBEN PLC to your PC using an Ethernet cord set. We first need to configure the Ethernet port on your PC. You can do this by going to Control Panel on your PC and then accessing Network and Sharing Center. Click on the local area connection your block is connected to and click Properties. In the Local Area Connection Properties window, click on Ethernet Protocol Version 4 and then select Properties. Ensure the IP address is within the 192.168.1 subnet. Let's now open Codasys. First, click File and then click New Project. In the pop-up window, select Standard Project. Provide a project name and then select OK. In the Standard Project pop-up window, in the Device drop-down, select the TBEN-LX-PLC-11. We will also select the Ladder Logic Program in the PLC Program Type drop-down menu. Then, click the OK button. The configuration will show up on the left under Devices. Next, double-click on the TBEN PLC device. This will bring up the communication settings. In the Gateway drop-down menu, select the gateway the TBEN PLC is connected to, and then select Scan Network. This will find the Turk device you have connected. Click on the device and select OK. Notice that you will see the device connected on the network in the Communication Settings window. This is indicated by green indicators on the gateway and on the TBEN PLC device. We are connected. Next, under Local I.O., double-click on DXP. Then, click on DXP I.O. Mapping. This is where we assign tag names to the I.O. Remember, we have the sensor counting cans plugged in on channel 8, the reset sensor is plugged in on channel 10, and the indicator light is plugged in on channel 13. Under Variable, we will call input channel 8, count sensor input. We will call input channel 10, reset sensor input. Lastly, we will call output channel 13, light output. With the names assigned, double click on PLC PROG. 
the PLC program window will now open. This is where we set up the CODIS's program. You will notice on the right there is a toolbox. Click the plus symbol next to function blocks and drag the CTU counter function into the workspace by placing it on the start here indicator. First, let's give this function block a title. In this case, let's call it my first counter. In CODISYS, these two symbols here are called contacts and they represent our inputs. To assign variables, click on the question marks and click on the box with three dots. The input assistant window will open. Click on the plus symbol next to IO config globals mapping. Then click the recently created count sensor input. Click OK, then click enter. Next, we are going to set our reset sensor input using the same method and selecting reset sensor input. PV is the process variable. The count input sensor is going to count to 5 before turning on the light, so we are going to type in 5 and click enter. On the right side of the function block, we are going to have our output. Right click here and select insert coil. In CODISYS, coils are our outputs. Once again, to assign variables, click on the question marks and click on the box with the three dots. Click on the plus symbol next to IO config globals mapping. Then, click the recently created light output. Click OK, then click enter. CV is our current value. Let's make this a tag for future monitoring. Let's name this current value. Click enter and then click OK in the pop-up window to declare the variable as a word. Next, let's compile our code by clicking build. This way, we can check to see if there are any errors. As you can see, no errors are found. Next, let's log into the device by clicking online and then log in. To run the program, click the play button at the top of the CODIS screen. We are all set. Let's test the program. As you can see, when I activate the sensor five times, the indicator light turns on. The second sensor resets the counter and resets the light. You can also see in the CODIS's program when the sensors and lights are activated and the current counter value. Thanks for watching.